Hello everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another show of Chokogin review this time for GX42 Kotex Sushin Jig Right, so Jig is like a uh, parts former uh, Let's go immediately into the formation Okay, first you like to uh, assemble these legs Alright, very easy Okay, and once you're done with the legs Let's go on to the main body Here you have the Torso, okay, this lower part is totally die cast. Uh, same with the top chest portion, it is um, almost totally die cast except for these panels. And I'm gonna do it with the arms right now. First, I'm gonna just take this, slot this little part in, I'm gonna slot the arm in, and there you have one arm done. And now we go to the other arm. Oops, pardon me for being clumsy. Okay, alright, here we're done. And right now, in order to form jig, magnet. Okay, all these are magnetized, the joints are magnetized. Same as the arm as well, they're magnetized. And we move on to the head. Tum, jig, done. Alright, so uh, what features does this have? Uh, you can actually open up these um, chest pieces, okay, to show uh, some. Uh, attack that he has in the show. Yeah, those spiky spiky chests. Right, very interesting, very detailed. And um, what else do we have? Um, it's easy for him to stand because if you notice that the soles are actually rubber. So it makes it easier for the figure to stand. Uh, and this figure holds pretty well. The magnet is very tight. I'm just holding on to the head right now and you see you can support the whole figure dangling. Same thing as holding the hand. You can support the whole figure if I hold the leg. You can support the whole figure as well without falling. Right, but in terms of posability wise, I would think it's pretty limited because it's all magnetic ball joints, so it tends to slip here and there. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at the accessories that Jig comes with. So, Jig comes with this very impressive set. Uh, it does have this uh, motor bike thingy that can transform to form uh, Jig's head as well. Yeah, so here it's a very simple parts former to form the head. Uh, I generally don't use this one because I, I think the original head looks uh, much much better so yeah that's my choice of uh, for the head alright just uh, get this out of place alright so this is the bike and uh, it does come with this um, giant cannon as well this giant cannon that you can actually fit onto its arm so what you do is to take this out and fit this cannon here yeah, there's no spring action or no missile or anything like that, so it's just a cannon by himself. And you can also have Jig uh, in his flight mode. All you do is put these two drill pieces together. Okay, there's a pack over here. Hold it better in place. And the other one. Right. And uh, Bandai does uh, let Jig have a nice look. You can actually look up while he's flying. That's a lot of articulation it has. So yeah, this is how you can pose it if you want to, but the legs won't hold, you see, so that's an issue by itself. So yeah. Okay. Gonna plug the wings, this drills back. Okay, what other things it comes with? It comes with a a uh, additional chest portion uh, arm portion, this shoulder portion that you can actually attach to his uh, arm uh, as a weapon. Okay, so basically it looks like this. You attach it here. It's supposed to be a weapon that another arm can hold. Okay, but I'm not going into the details uh, in this review. Alright, so, okay, what else does it come with? It comes with this uh, this uh, punch thingy as well. All you need to do is put this uh, punch inside, and what it does is it shoots out the punch. Yeah. So, yeah, Jake here is a uh, pretty important. Import, uh, awesome uh, figure. I would say that uh, it's an uh, innovative uh, product from Bandai. Uh, I like it because it's, uh, it's something different from the rest of the Choco King in the series. Uh, however, when it comes to posability wise, this guy is really, really very limited uh, due to his magnetic joints. So, yeah, but on the display, I think this guy looks great. And so, yeah. So, here's Charles uh, with another show of Choco King review. Do check out my channel next time for more sort of Chocoking reviews.
that he has in the show. Yeah, those spiky, spiky chairs. Right, very interesting, very detailed. And um, what else do we have? Um, it's easy for him to stand because if you notice that the soles are actually rubber, so it makes it easier for the figure to stand. Uh, and this figure holds pretty well. The main angle is very tight. I'm just holding on to the head right now, and you see you can support the whole figure dangling. Same thing as holding the hand. You can support the whole figure if I hold the leg. You can support the whole figure as well without falling. Right, but in terms of posability wise, I would think it's pretty limited because it's all magnetic ball joints, so it tends to slip here and there. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at the accessories that Jig comes with. So Jig comes with this very impressive set. Uh, it does have this uh, model bike thingy that can transform to form uh, Jig's head as well. Yeah, so here it's a very simple parts former to form the head. Uh, I generally don't use this one because I, I think the original head looks uh, much much better. So yeah, that's my choice of uh, for the head. All right, just uh, get this out of place. All right, so this is the bike, and uh, it does come with this um, giant cannon as well. This giant cannon that you can actually fit onto his arm. So what you do is to take this out and fit this cannon here. Yeah. There's no spring action or no missile or anything like that. So it's just a cannon by himself. And you can also have Jig uh, in his flight mode. All you do is put these two drill pieces together. Okay. There's a pack over here. Hold it better in place. And the other one. Right, and uh, Bandai does uh, let Jig have a nice look. You can actually look up while he's flying. That's a lot of articulation he has. So yeah, this is how you can pose it if you want to, but the legs won't hold, you see, so that's an issue by itself. So yeah, okay, gonna plug the wings, this drills back. Hello everybody, this is Charles and I am back with another show of Chokogin review, this time for GX42 Kotex Sushin Jig. Right, so Jig is like a uh, parts former, uh, let's go immediately into the formation. Okay, first you like to uh, assemble this legs, alright, very easy. Okay, and once you're done with the legs, let's go on to the main body, here you have the Torso, okay, this lower part is totally die cast. Uh, same with the top chest portion, it is um, almost totally die cast except for all these panels. And I'm gonna do it with the arms right now. First, I'm gonna just take this, slot this little part in, I'm gonna slot the arm in, and there you have one arm done. And now we go to the other arm. Oops, pardon me for being clumsy. Okay, alright, here yeah, we're done. And right now, in order to form jig, magnet. Okay, all these are magnetized, the joints are magnetized. Same as the arm as well, they're magnetized. Then we move on to the head. Term, jig, done. Alright, so uh, what features does this have? Uh, you can actually open up these um, chest pieces, okay, to show uh, some. Uh, attack 